Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why women do what I ask. I've got a good email here from a viewer today, and it's not so much uh, a question as more of it of some of the experiences that he's having with women and how just being assertive and not being shy about telling women what he wants without any kind of fear or any kind of apologetic kind of vibe, he's experiencing really amazing results with how women are responding to him. And so I've got a quote today. This was actually from Oprah before I get into his email. She said, devote today, devote today to something so daring, even you can't believe you're doing it. You know, there's an old saying, you miss 100% of the pitches that you don't swing at in life. And so what I'm about to read to you from this viewer is you're going to see firsthand what it's like when you apply the things that I teach and you speak from your heart without fear and you go for the things that you want, even to the point where you're willing to offend a woman in, ca in some cases to, because you're just being sincere and you're being honest and you're speaking your truth. And you got to be willing to sometimes piss other people off or have people go, oh, I can't believe you. Oh, I would never. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, my mother used to say this to me, I mean, 10,000 times. You can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all of the people all the time. And it's the same thing comes to women. Not Even though the best place to come from is to always assume that they all want you, it's not always going to be the case, but it's always the best place to presuppose and to come from because that's going to affect the tone of your voice. It's going to affect your body language. It's going to affect your physiology because if you walk up to women with the attitude that oh, I'm probably going to get rejected or most women don't like me, then the way you go about asking them and asking for things you want is not going to be very assertive. It's going to be more submissive, more kind of apologetic as opposed to confident and direct and getting right to the point. So he says, hey, coach, I wanted to share a bit of a success story I've had due to your book and coaching videos. I've been seeing but not dating a lot of women because I really don't want to limit myself to just one woman right now. And I say it's important. If you're just now getting into my work and you're just now really starting to date a lot of different women, I really highly encourage you to do that until you get used to getting what you want, to, until you lose your fear of meeting women and asking women out on dates and going out on dates and taking women through the process of seduction so you can prepare yourself for that next great love. Some people just want to meet one really awesome girl. And other guys, when they, they learn these skills, they go ape shit and they want to have a good time. And I want you to do whatever it is that makes you happy. That's my job as a coach is to help you get what it is that you want. Not to tell you what I think you should want, but to help you get what it is that you want. Because at the end of the day, only you know what's in your heart. And so he says, I'm starting to see a few patterns. Now that I'm comfortable in myself, I don't have any problems asking women for what I want. Whether that's for her to come over and kiss me or to take off her dress or whatever. A lot of time when I first say something like that, a woman will respond with a question like, why? And he says, each and every time now, this is a fucking beautiful, this guy just is crushing it in his response. Now listen carefully to what he says. He says, each and every time now, I just look her in the eyes, I give her a lazy half smile, which I like to call like the James Bond kind of smirk, and say, because I asked you to. So it's a little kind of like mischievous, kind of naughty. And when a woman says why, it's kind of like her way of saying really? You really think you're all that? And so when you say it with a smirk on your face, you're communicating in a playful, charming way that, yeah, I did just say what you think I said. And yeah, I am kind of naughty. And I really would like you to take your dress off. And because you're being assertive and when she throws that at you, why? And you respond because I asked you to with a smirk on your face. She'll be submissive and take off her dress. He says, without fail, every woman's response has been, okay, and after the first time testing me, no woman has ever asked me a question like that again. I talk about that 
in my book is that when you start, when you meet a woman right away, it's like I talked about in the video I did a week or so ago, why high quality women reject you. Super high quality women get it. And they know just by looking at a guy whether or not he gets it. And when they look at you and they throw one test at you and they can see that it just doesn't even begin to phase you, they realize that you're full on 100% alpha and they won't test you anymore as long as you don't show any weakness after that. So she tests you, she realizes that you are the rock, you are the fucking mountain and there's nothing she can say or do that's going to diminish you in any way. She won't try to in any way because she'll realize that she's with a real man just like these women are realizing that this guy is now coming to his own power and they're responding appropriately. He says, so after the first time testing me, no woman has ever asked me a question like that again. In fact, the women I've been seeing have done pretty much anything I've asked promptly and with significant enthusiasm once they've seen that I'm not a wimp. Very fucking important. And I just, I did a video last week. It's like, it's not what you say, it is all in how you say. Your body language and the tone of your voice communicates most of what you communicate. The actual words are really fucking irrelevant. So he says, sometimes it's a tiny bit less easy if the girl really wants to test me. She'll respond with something like, you're very forward. And I reply with the same half smile and say, that's because you like it. Tell me I'm wrong. That's a fucking great response, dude. Good fucking job. Because you're saying it in a playful, charming way where you could almost kind of be serious, but the look on your face says, no, nah, he can't really be that serious. And women love that because you're not giving them an order. You're saying it with a smirk. It's like in a way, you're daring them to do what you want. And because... They see and they feel, more importantly, they feel that you're a man. That's why they submit to you and they go along with exactly what you want, exactly what this guy is demonstrating beautifully. He says, not one of them has said I'm wrong. If anything, this works even better with women the hotter they are since they're used to guys turning into spineless pleasers the instant she says a single negative word. And just like I talked about the part in the movie Casino Royale, it was the first one that, that Daniel Craig did as the as the new James Bond. And there's a part where he, he wins this Jaguar from a bad guy. And this particular bad guy's got this really hot wife who he's not taking care of and not taking care of business. And she's obviously not very happy. And so as James Bond is picking up the car that he just won from her criminal husband in a, in a car game, he sees her out in the parking lot and he invite. he says, would you care to join me for a drink? And she says, well, it's been a long time since I've been bad. And he says, <laughs> he says, well, maybe it's just been, maybe you're just a little out of practice. And he just sits there with this smirk, exactly like this guy is describing here. And she looks at him with this like disgusted look on her face for a sec. And then she throws her head back and she starts smiling and laughing and she hops in the car. Because her, the look was like, are you a real man? And he just sits there with a the boyish smirk on his face. And she realizes like, oh yeah, you got it. And she hops in the car and she's like, she knows she's with a man who's used to getting what he wants. And with that kind of a guy, she doesn't have to worry about getting hurt or being in an unsafe position. Because this guy gives off the energy and the vibe that he knows exactly what he wants. And he's used to women freely and openly giving him what it is that he wants and, and women know the difference they can feel it especially the beautiful ones he says i've even had a few gorgeous women say something like wow you're really not at all intimidated by me and i respond with why on earth would i be and so you're treating the hot girl like any other woman instead of putting her on a pedestal like the average guy does you're treating her like any other girl and you're acting like a guy who's used to getting what he wants from beautiful women. I say all the time, act as if. And you're acting as if. And that's why you're getting the results. He says, I think 
that people really are like the animals on those nature shows where the male has to show off his bright plumage or whatever to attract a mate and show that he's better than the other males. Just with men and women, that plumage is confidence. And besides, what a man wants to be a peacock when he can be a badass instead. I mean, exactly, dude. It's like, so, I mean, great fucking job, dude. Awesome for you for having the ball. So thank you for sharing that email because, again, I say it all the time. You can think I'm totally full of shit, man. Apply the things that I teach. They will work for you. I promise you. So if you'd like to get my help personally so you can experience these kinds of things in your own life, go to my website right now. Click the products tab at the top of your screen and book a paid phone coaching session with yours truly. And I will talk to you soon.